not pretty, but... Yeah, it wasn't bad. Much better. Are you looking to make that switch from the glide to the rotational shot? In this video, we're gonna show you how we went through a training session. Halfway through that glide, we switched to the rotation. So check it out. Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. In today's video, we will be talking about a young left-handed glider that is doing some things that really indicate she'd probably pick up the rotational shot quite well. One of the first things that this athlete tends to do, she's not keeping the upper body back enough. This is a real common thing that you see with a lot of young gliders, they open up. Right here, I'm basically explaining to her how she needs to basically set up how to stay back properly, manipulate her into position. I'm exaggerating a few things because I'm trying to create a reaction to understand how she needs to move so she tends to be a little bent over by the end of this video you're gonna see that we switch her to the rotational shot and we start to go through what we would refer to as our pillar three four five six so we're gonna go from a movement kind of into a half turn type throw pushed yep and from there go that's more the idea and you don't reverse right so as we go here, you're gonna see one of the common things that a lot of throwers do is that they kind of rotate out of their glide. You see a lot of gliders too, that they have a hard time reversing. And you see that this thrower, she was actually not the biggest athlete, but actually a pretty good power lifter with some pretty good numbers. And so she's got a lot of punch. So you can see here, she's always creating a couple of key things. Big common mistake is the shoulders don't stay back. So by the time you get to the power position, you're too far forward and open. So here I kind of demo how she needs to be opening her block arm for her again is too short a lot of athletes out there do this the block arm it's not going to open up correctly into throw that's going to aid in opening the whole thrower up and pulling the thrower so off again what you were leg. doing was legs real straight and you're just kind of doing this so as soon as you start to shift see how i'm coming off so all you have is this little push so right here, again, we're gonna try to show the proper way to load. One of the most common things that a lot of athletes do, this is what we refer to as our pillar five, six. This is the power position, and so many young throwers really don't understand how to load the legs properly. So now what we try to do is we add a band drill because we're gonna teach how to properly create the angles and counterbalance in the throw. So you're gonna see that the athlete's off balance, and this is, this is really an indicator that a lot of key positions aren't set. When you're set and you're on balance, you're going to be able to hold the position quite easily and you're going to have that stronger position there you go band just gives you different stimulus like to feel the throw if it snaps off your shoulder that means you're in the wrong position it gives you tons of feedback utilizing the band to create some different feelings to be able to give her some kind of instant feedback when she's out of position the band's going to move certain ways sometimes it's going to come off the shoulder and this is going to be the indicator that she's not keeping the upper body back the proper way so again one of the key things is you know staying back on the throw for the right amount of time is one of those big challenges that we have in the glide so we call this that transition as she steps back this is what we refer to as kind of our pillar two three four five six in the glide we're trying to move through now we're going to be moving back to the start of the throw our pillar one two and three so we're trying to teach her how to unload off the drive leg and this is a really big common mistake so we're going to kind of exaggerate show some angles and how she needs to move properly to elevate the kick leg to set up the throw right to set up the chain reaction okay yeah. The band's really throwing me off right now. Right, so the band is supposed to help you feel that connection between your kick leg and your upper body. So at this point, after looking at some of the challenges she's having, looking at her size, and she's only about 5'5", five five, but she's strong, and in a matter of about 30 minutes, she was moving way better and striking the shot a lot better. You're gonna notice that one of the things that she's doing, she's creating the angle, staying back better. Her balance block arm is constantly too active too early. See how it shortens up, and that pulls her into the throw. This is a common mistake that a lot of throwers do and learning how to keep it long and open it the right way is the key so now you can see by the end of the video as she's moving through the throw she's super close to coming through and almost reversing which is something she wasn't doing with her glide switching her to the rotation was actually more natural turn that yep much better that was pretty good so if you'd like to learn more about how to switch from the glide to the rotational throw and learn a step-by-step -step system that's our six pillars that show you exactly what you're doing wrong, how to do it right, click the link either in the description or in the bio and we will see you on the next video.